So today is Friday, Friday the 23rd of September, which means it's only three days to my birthday, which is crazy and exciting and yay. <laughs> um, my hair is not a different colour, it's just wet. I just had a shower. So let's get on with Friday Reads. I have a couple of things planned this weekend that I'm quite excited about getting to. I think it's going to be good fun. I'm kind of planning a little bit of a sci-fi weekend, just I'm feeling more sci-fi and I think it's because one of the books that I have been reading and that I'm already halfway through is this one, Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. I'm about halfway through this. I'm really enjoying it. I have already seen the film in the past, but I think the book is already way better. So very happy about reading it at last. And I'm just really enjoying the like crazy battle school vibes. I'm really liking the main characters. I'm really enjoying the setup. It feels very action packed and fast paced and fun. And I'm really, really liking it. So. This one has kind of inspired me to pick up a few other sci-fis. Obviously I'm going to try and finish this one up over the weekend. As I say, I'm halfway through. It should be very doable because it isn't a hugely long book. So I'm sure I will be able to finish this up. I have been reading it with Charlotte, whose channel I will link below. So go and check her out. And we've been having a good time discussing it. So it should be a lot of fun to talk a bit further about the end of this and see how it all wraps up. So I'm looking forward to that. The next one I have is this one. It is After Atlas by Emma Newman. I was given this one at Nine Worlds by Emma Newman to review. It is an art. It comes out on the 8th of November. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. I haven't read any of her other work, but I have read the first few chapters already of this and I am really enjoying it. I believe it's about a kind of cop who his family abandoned him and went off in the spaceship and he has to kind of deal with the repercussions of people asking why a mother would abandon her baby to go off into space and he grew up on earth essentially without a mother so it seems very people focused so far which is great and character focused i'm liking that i'm definitely interested to sort of see some more of the sci-fi elements it looks as though they've got pretty cool sci-fi technology so far so i'm hopeful that i will really enjoy this the next one i'm planning to start i haven't started it yet is kindred by octavia butler which i saw a lot of people read for diversathon I'm very excited to read this. I have it already planned because it's part of the Magical Space Pussycats this month. And this one sounds really interesting. I believe it's about a young black woman who goes back in time and because she is black, she gets treated really badly or something like that. I don't know a whole lot about it, to be honest, but it sounds like there's time travel and some pretty cool things happening. And apparently it deals really well with like race and issues of that sort. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. Hopefully I'll really, really enjoy it. The final thing that I'm planning to read is a tiny little one that I only just picked up and this is Marie Brennan's Cold Forge Flame. It's a tiny little novella. It's only like 100 pages, so I definitely think I can get through this. It sounds really cool. This one is a fantasy, but I'm kind of in the mood for short fantasy, um, so I think it'll be all right. And it says, at the beginning, no at the end, she appears full of fury and bound by chains of prophecy. And then she goes on a quest and that's all I really know. Besides that, it is Marie Brennan. And I love Marie Brennan because she is awesome and everything I've read so far by her I've enjoyed. So I'm hopeful that I'll like this one too and I will report back on it. Moving on to the one book that turned up since I've done my haul, which you probably saw this morning. So yeah, I've only had one book since then. <laughs> and that one is this, it came in the post and it's called Golden Hand, The Old King Returns and it's by Garth Nix. This one gets released in October and it's a continuation of the Old Kingdom series, I believe it's called. I believe we do again follow Lyriel, who is one of the major characters in the Old Kingdom series, and she is grown up, I guess, in this. Um, she's no longer a shy second assistant librarian. She is the Abhorsen in waiting. With dead creatures to battle, three magic entities to bind, she's also a remembrancer and a wielder of the Dark Mirror. And I guess we go on from there kind of following her story. It's been a good while since um, the last one in this series came out. It was a series that I read when I was a kid and I did request this one because I knew that I really enjoyed the series when I was younger and it was filled with magic and wonderful cool things and like demons and necromancy and it was very very bizarre but really great. So I'm hopeful that I'll like this one too when I do get to it. So that's sent to me by Hotkey Books, so thank you very much to them for sending it out. That is everything I have for you today. So, as always, let me know what you're going to be reading over the course of the weekend, and tell me if there are any that I mentioned that you're really excited about. I would love to hear from you guys, as always, and thank you so much for watching. 
I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.